everybody and welcome back once again to Fat Buddha Fitness. I am of course Chester Monkey Magic and we are in glorious Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. And the reason we're here is because today we're going to do a beach body workout right here on Ipanema. So I'm going to get ready and then I'm going to show you how to get a beach body. Something which is very important for the people here. Right, the crucial thing to getting the Ipanema beach body is having big muscles. Now, if you look around Rio beaches, you'll see a lot of guys with very sculpted physiques. And one thing that helps with that are these little exercise stations that you find dotted all down the beaches, every 200 to 500 meters. Now, I personally am a little bit soft around the middle. A lot of these guys that you'll see on these uh, exercise stations have got not an ounce of fat on them. And you can pay and go to a gym, or you can come and use these. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and get the Rio beach body using this exercise station. But if you can't find one of these or you can't go to a gym, I'll explain to you how you can do these same exercises in a different way. So the things we're going to work on are shoulders, biceps, triceps, chest and back. We'll start with the upper back. the upper back we're going to do some pull-ups basically an overhand grip like this a wide grip pull up something to hold on to, something like this, hold on either side, your feet at the foot, let yourself drop down and pull yourself back up. And that also works the upper back, like this. You can even do it on a door handle. Moving on to the next exercise, we to biceps. Before we did an overhand grip with a wide base, now we do an underhand grip with a narrow base. Well, this is actually a side hand grip, but it works biceps just the same. And we're just going to do maximum reps. In this case, go your head to one side, and then the other side. If you don't have a pull-up bar, you can also be on here. A straight bar, like this. If you don't have a pull-up bar, you do bicep curls. If you don't have a dumbbell, you can use a chair or something like that. So we've done upper back, done biceps, now we're going to go on to chest. From here, basically you do press ups, but the palms on the foot, or the foot stands here. The reason we do it this way is you can drop lower to get a really good push up and therefore work your chest even more. And again, you can do maximum reps. If you don't have something like that you can work on, just do wide grip press-ups. Wide as you can go, fingers facing out, like that. Now we move on, round over here. We're going to do dips. So here we have the dip handles. Just hold yourself up, dig down, and pull yourself back up. Get your elbows to at least 90 degrees as you do it. Like this. Again, maximum reps. If you don't have a dip bar, or if that's too difficult, use this one. Lower down, put your feet up there. Just dip down, like this. That's hard, but you feel on the floor. Dip like this. And if you don't have these, you can use a chair. Put your hands on the side of the chair, or even on the front like that. You need to put your feet on another chair, 
on the floor and do dips. So those are the four exercises we're going to do. And each time we do a maximum number of reps, followed by 30 seconds of crunches. Crunches like this. Feet off the ground, fingertips on your temples, crunch up. And after that, you're going to do two minutes of cardio. You start with pull-ups, 30 seconds maximum number, 30 seconds of crunches, two minutes of cardio. The reason we do the cardio and the crunches, crunches is to uh, build up your abs, and the cardio is to burn off the fat so that people can see all these big muscles that you're going to be building up. To do the cardio, if you're doing this in a gym, which is more than possible, then what you want to do is either running, um, cross trainer, cycling, rowing machine, whatever you like. Anything that is cardiovascular gets your heart pumping. Otherwise, if you're somewhere like this on the beach, you can run. Run up and down for two minutes. Or if you're doing it in your living room, then you've got various options. Star jumps, that's one thing you can do. Running on the spot, high knees. You can do simple uh, crossovers with your feet. Anything basically that's moving and is low intensity. So there we have it. What are you going to do? Four different muscular exercises, each one followed by 30 seconds of crunches, and two minutes of cardio. And you can do as many sets of that as you like. That's today's workout. So that was today's Ipanema beach body workout. It's all about building up big muscles so that you can look as good as the guys on the Rio beaches. Um, what we're going to do next time is we're going to make our way to Copacabana, which is uh, just down the beach there behind me, around that promontory. And we're going to do the next workout from there. And that will be more based on lower body and legs. You see, here in Rio, guys love to build up their upper bodies they're not so keen on their legs. So you get these guys walking around with chicken legs with massive upper bodies. We don't want you to look like that. So next time, we'll show you how to build up your legs and strengthen those as well. And of course, Chester Monkey Magic. This is Fat Buddha Fitness. Amy 12-4 from Rio.